Hi, I'm Dwayne Nickel. I'm one of the Adobe Evangelists, and I'm doing a series of tutorials on Flash Builder 4, which is a new product that supersedes Flex Builder 3. Now, Flash Builder 4 is a really good ID for working with the Flex 4 framework and working with Air 2.0 and Air 1.5. What we're going to do today with this uh, beta product is we're going to build a application that uses AMF using the data um, binding to go back and talk to Java. So I've got an application server, the Blaze DS application server started up on my uh, particular um, laptop here. And I'm going to start this new project and it's called uh, ADC AMF test. And I'm going to choose a server type and it's J2EE. Now I'm going to choose Blaze DS and use Remote Object Access Service and hit Next. And it asked me for a couple of pieces of information. Now one of these uh, point I have to point out as a directory on my particular uh, hard drive. And this one is the root folder of where the uh, data can be accessed. So it's under Samples. And we have a Java class there called Products, and Products has a method called Get Products that we're going to talk to directly from Flex. There's a root URL, which is localhost 8400 samples, and a context root. It's always a good idea when using these wizards, if there's a validation or validate configuration capability, just to hit it and make sure that everything's valid. And in this case, we can see that the message we get back is the web root folder and the root URL are in fact valid. And that's all we need to do. Now that we've got our application uh, shell complete, we can start uh, building out some of the code. Now one of the new changes in uh, the uh, Flash Builder 4 product is that the root element is a Spark container, Spark application. Um, and when we start doing layouts, we can do layouts in uh, different manners than we uh, could before. So we're going to declare the layout at the bottom, and we can go with a number of different uh, layout managers. Um, one of them would be the vertical layout, uh, or we could go with horizontal layout, etc. In this case, I'm going to go with just the uh, basic layout. And this declaration comes under the uh, S layout, or the Spark layout at the top of the screen. Another change is that uh, previously with Flex Builder 3, we could just type things like HTTP service or remote object. And when we start to do this, we see that the code complete doesn't work. And that's because within the Flash Builder 4 uh, model, you have to have a declarations tag, which is sort of a container to hold all the non-visual components that you're going to work with in your application. So I've built an FX declarations. And inside of FX uh, declarations, I can now build my uh, remote object. And my remote object, uh, of course, we're going to give it an ID because we're going to program against it. And uh, then we're going to give it a destination. Now, the destination, uh, because it already knows where the uh, server is, and we've already validated that, all we have to do is give it the endpoint or the stub uh, or the place that it can talk to on the server. In this case, it's a Java class called products. To finish off the application, I'm going to add in a data grid. And the data grid, I'm going to set a data provider for. And the data provider, in this case, will be SRV. And this is where we have to have some knowledge of the structure of our Java code. And in fact, in this case, uh, the operation name is getProducts, which corresponds to a, a Java method, and last result, which is an iterator. And it will iterate over as many times uh, as the uh, uh, database can uh, spew back examples and put them and bind them to rows on the data grid. And just to make it look pretty when we lay it out, I'm going to give it a width of 800 and a uh, height of around uh, 400. And uh, with the basic layout, we can set things like X and Y as well. So we can set X is 10 and Y is 10. Um, these are, of course, uh, up to uh, designers to decide. The last thing we have to do is add a button. And the button uh, is a Spark component. Uh, putting a label on a button is a good idea so people know what it does. In this case, it says Get Data. And then we, of course, have to have a click handler on the button. And the uh, click handler will tell us what to do. In this case, it's going to be SRV, which is our remote object ID, and Get Products, which is the uh, operation or the method name that Java exposes. Uh, because of the layout manager we've used, uh, we'll put x equals uh, 500, oops, and uh, y equals, um, let's say, uh, 460, 
and hope that looks somewhat reasonable. And when we run it, we will see that uh, it loads up the data grid and the get data button. Now, and notice at this point that the data grid itself doesn't have any columns or rows to it. And that's because when we hit the get data button, it's going to go out and get the information and it'll automatically configure this for us. So let's go ahead and run that, shall we, and see if it works. And bang, there we go. There is our information back from the database. I'm Dwayne Nickel. I'm one of the Adobe evangelists. You can get the source code from this online here at this URL.